A little while later, the Bad Batch completed a mission for Sid that involved a nest of gundarks at the drop zone. Upon returning to Sid's parlor, the Batch noticed far more people inside than usual. They attempted to enter Sid's office, forcing their way past a guard. In Sid's place sat a Deveronian named Roland Durand, the owner of Ruby, the creature the Batch had obtained on a previous mission. Roland explained to the group that he had taken the parlor and that Sid was out. He offered them work. But Hunter only told him that they'd think about it before leaving the parlor. Outside, the group planned to leave Ord Mantle, but Omega was worried about Sid. Sid, who had gone to the Marauder with Bolo and Ketch, overheard Omega's pleas to help her and offered the Batch a new mission. Sid explained that Durand was part of a crime family, and she planned to get her parlor back with the Batch's help. After hearing Omega's reasoning, Hunter decided to help Sid. Sid planned to sabotage Duran's deal with the Pike Syndicate by stealing his Sanzana Spice from her office using the mines underneath Ord Mantle City. They found the rail system and took the carts to get to Sid's parlor, but Sid prevented them from using the cart's motors, as any loud noise would awaken a large hive of Erlings, nocturnal terror creatures with a sensitivity to thermal registers. Making it to the parlor, and Sid contacted Bolo and Ketch to distract Durand by stealing Ruby. The distraction worked, and the batch successfully recovered every crate of spice. Durand returned after having found Ruby, but noticed the missing spice. He found the sewer that led to the mine and ordered his guards to go after the thieves. The guards discovered the batch and chased them through the tunnel. The blaster shots exchanged by both parties awakened the Erling Hive, which attacked the intruders. The batch defeated the guards and escaped the Erlings, but lost the spice. The group returned to the parlor to find Pikes with a captured Durand. The Pikes demanded the return on the spice and requested Omega as a hostage until it could be found. Reluctant but unwilling to start something with the large crime syndicate, the Batch handed her over and left for the tunnel to secure the spices. Omega was tied up with Durand and thought to use a discarded blaster to escape, but Durand told her not to try it. They both chastised each other with Roland telling Omega not to mess with other people's business and Omega reminding him that he had done exactly that when he stole Sid's parlor. As Durand further lamented their situation, Omega comforted Ruby and told her it would be all right. Meanwhile, the Batch succeeded in their mission and returned the spice. The Pikes released Omega, but stated that their business with Durand hadn't ended. Omega pleaded for the Pikes not to kill him, but they still sliced off one of his horns before telling him that their business together was over. Omega gave Ruby back to Durand, who told the group that he would be leaving. Hunter asked Omega why she had stood up for him, and Omega explained that if Ruby liked him, he couldn't be all bad. The group then headed back to the parlor for a free round of drinks from Sid.